So this is the Subnado. It's a underwater scooter, the mo world's smallest, most portable underwater scooter. We've tried to take this to a couple of public pools and we got kicked out because they said their insurance doesn't cover this. So I remembered my daughter's here at the reservoir with her friends. So we thought, why not try it with these paddle boards? You can see it's a one hand control, max thrust of 6.5 kilograms, 45 minute runtime at its lowest mode, USB-C charging, and it's got a cruise mode available. So this is what it looks like. What would you guys say this looks like? It looks like a lightsaber. It kind of looks like a curling iron. <laughs> a curling no, iron? No, like that's where the gem goes in the lightsaber and then you like turn it on. So would I hold the lightsaber like this? No, you hold it the other way. Like 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 so we've got the Subnado. We've got this controller. It's a little, it goes onto your index finger. Oh, there's Andrew. Andrew is pumping up the, the stuff. And here. We've got a you... hair curling iron here. Is yep. that what it is? Or a lightsaber. Oh yeah, that's, I just see a lightsaber. Yeah. So this is the control. Yep, looks like it connects in right there. Wow, do you hear that? Yeah, it what? sounds like the airplane wheels coming up. Oh yeah, so let's, let's attach this onto the paddle board. I would say, I guess right here. Is this where they're putting it at or are they putting it towards here? Uh, I'd say put it right there because then it can get protected from the fin by the fins too. See how this goes. All right, so we're going because you have to all three girls, one paddle board, one subnado. I hear it pumping. Oh, there it goes. Little oh, wake. You can hear it. Oh, wake. yeah, look at that wake. Get Milo. Oh, <laughs> and Milo's coming. Oh, he's really coming after you guys. Oh my gosh. Milo. Hey, you guys are moving actually pretty fast. Look at how fast you guys are going with three of you guys. All right, and then what we have going on here is Andrew is a world-class paddle boarder. He actually spent a whole summer devoted to just paddle boards, selling them. <laughs> but uh, what he's gonna do now is see if he can race against those girls that are using the Subnado. Whoa! World-class paddle boarder right there. It's the first of the season. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're gonna have a little race between Andrew, the expert paddle boarder. You guys have seen him at work already. And uh, the girls, they've got on, they've got the Subnado equipped paddle board. And so on your mark, get set, go. And so they've got the Subnado. Oh, they're keeping up though. So I don't know if you could see that, but uh, the Subnado on that paddle board is keeping up with Andrew and pretty good because they've just got three, three middle school girls on there paddling plus the Subnado. But you can see Andrew's starting to pull away now. A little bit faster, but they had like three people paddling in that thing. I wonder what it's like with just the Subnado. Yeah. Well, and that was <laughs> three little girls paddling with their hands. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. How was it? It was good. Here, I'm just gonna hold on to you, turn it on. I wanna see what it looks like, the propulsion. Oh yeah. Well, I'm really having to hold on to you guys. It's pulling away. We got another cool attachment here. And what I'm thinking is this clips into the Subnado. I think the subnado goes in just like that. And this is where you plug it, turn it on. Okay, I see this, pretty cool. This looks like a little handlebars so that when I go, pull the trigger here, get it going. You do have some extra cord hanging off here. You just can just kind of loop it off the, loop it around there, but this seems cool. Okay, so it sounds like they're ready to come back. They're gonna race back here. On your mark, get set, go. The champ wins! Did you get one of you guys want to try this? I'll do it quick. Wait, what do I do? You just pull this trigger. Go. <laughs> this feels so weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's shaky, dude! Look how fast I am! Yeah, that's pretty good. You have to aim it right, because if you aim it at you, it slows you down. Oh, so you got to aim it so it's pushing away from you, so it's actually pushing down the yeah, water. Yeah, like down, but easy. Okay. We're gonna have you guys race. Hold on, you gotta race. Shoot, I still got swimming. Okay, three, <laughs> two, two, one, one go. <laughs> oh, Maggie, she's dusting you. Jackson, what are you doing? Milo, Milo. Let's go, Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go straight. So how does it, how did it feel? How would you describe the Subnado? It was speedy. Speedy? <laughs> 
Did you feel like a mermaid? It, sure, yeah, and uh, it felt like free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> Let's talk about what we like best about the Subnado. Andrew, what did you like best? Really simple to use, compact, lasted a lot longer than I thought. Pretty fun, actually, super fun. Yeah, I'm with you. It, it was a lot of fun. And it was fun to see how the girls enjoyed it so much. They picked up on it. It was really easy for them to use and they had a great time. So I see this as fun for kids, adults to be used in the pool, to use, be used at lakes or, or at the beach. That's probably the best part was just seeing everybody having so much fun with it and just testing it out. The other thing is that you can take it on a plane. I can't wait to try to travel with this in Hawaii. So I could see myself having a lot of fun in, in a variety of areas with this. It rolled up perfectly with the fins. The other thing too is it's small. It's not big like some of these other underwater scooters and because it's small, taking it into uh, our community pool. You know, I made the mistake of calling beforehand and asking the pools if I could take in an underwater scooter and everyone's like, no. But after we took it out of the box and you saw how small it was, next time I'm just bringing it in the pool, people aren't even gonna notice. It's so small, so quiet, so easy to use. And then the things that we don't like about it. There are a lot of different attachments, at least ours came with it. A lot of these things you have to buy separately. Keeping everything organized is going to be kind of a challenge. I mean, we had a lot of little straps, little cords, little knickknacks here and there. It's not really good for stand-up paddle boarding. If you can set it on cruise control, it might be good, but for me, holding a trigger throttle and trying to paddle at the same time, it just doesn't make much sense to me. I think if you're a high-level paddle boarder like Andrew, then it, it almost seems like it gets in the way, um, but for the girls, when they had it on their paddle board, it looked like they had a blast. So I think it just comes from how much experience you have paddle boarding. The other thing that I'd like is interchangeable batteries. It's nice that it's USB-C and recharge chargeable, but if you could switch out batteries, it would be nice to bring five batteries and have fun all day long with it. The one other thing that we found was when you hold the trigger on high levels for about 15 seconds, it will reset and go back to low level. So that was odd. Especially when you're out in the middle of a deep lake, you're cruising, you're having a good time, and then all of a sudden it goes from high powered down to low power. It just caught us off guard. We just have to get used to that or figure out how to turn that feature off. Otherwise, lots of fun. Who would you recommend this device to? I'd recommend this for everyone. It's fun for all ages, just to kind of have a different type of experience in the water. If you love to travel and you spend time in the water, you know, they sent it here to Colorado. We're the furthest you can be from any ocean, yet we still found a way to have fun. That is our review of the Subnado. Thanks for watching. And when you guys ride, wear your safety gear. And when you guys go in the water, wear your life jacket. Be yeah. responsible, you guys. <laughs> Just be responsible. Bye, Leah! Bye, guys! See ya! That was pretty good. I'm impressed.